Emergency preparedness, it's vital, it's necessary. Part of that is communication. With the recent flooding in California, now we're dealing with earthquakes, folks across the country dealing with tornadoes and such, also civil unrest, it's more important now than ever to stay informed. Well, I'm always in search for affordable options for you folks. And I think I found that item. Today I'm gonna to feature it. It is the Iron Snow 10,000 milliamp emergency radio and it is the IR688. What I'm gonna do is cut away, I'll do a quick specs rundown and then we'll bring it back 360 and talk about some of the features of this radio and why I feel you need to put a radio in your kit. Folks, the video starts now. Things I look for in a radio that I'm going to put in a bug out bag or keep in an emergency preparedness box in my house is very simple. One, it needs to be as self-contained as possible. With that, you need multiple radio bands to be able to stay informed. There may be an issue where your local radio station goes out and now you got to switch over to something else. Well, this radio has five different bands. We have a AM band. You can get a lot of different stations with that. You have an FM band. That's going to be more of your local stations. You have a shortwave radio one band and a shortwave radio two band. And how shortwave radio works is that it's frequencies that are bouncing off of the atmosphere and heading down. So you get a long reach with shortwave radio. Mostly though, it's international broadcasts that you hear. And that's also vital too, to find out what's happening on the other side of the planet in the event of some global catastrophe. With that, you also have a weather channel that is vital this year in SoCal. We had that atmospheric river. There was mass flooding everywhere. Some places was getting inches of rain at multiple times. You need a local weather report to know flash flood situations. Now we're dealing with earthquake situations. So that's just something that's gonna prepare you a little bit more to make you more of an effective leader in an emergency preparedness situation. Now, let's talk about some of the power sources of this radio. Over the years, I've talked about emergency preparedness, this phrase, two is one and one is none. You need multiple power sources to be able to be effective in an emergency situation. I saw this one and I was drawn to it because it has that feature. One, it has the option to put three AAA batteries in there. That way you have a constant source of energy for the radio. Two, it has a hand crank on the side and it has a 10,000 milliamp iolithium battery in it. Now, when you're cranking it up, let me see if I can get close and I'll try to uh, zoom in. There's a red LED that lights up. That means that this unit is charging the 10,000 milliamp battery. Now, it may take you a little while to be able to get enough usable energy out of that, but in most situations, you're gonna have a lot of time on your hands. It also has a solar panel on the top. Same thing, you're gonna trickle charge that 10,000 milliamp battery. You also have the capabilities 
to charge it up with a USB 2 cable. And then if you're using a regular USB cable, you can charge up your mobile devices or some other device that may need charging. You also have a headphone jack. So say you're in an area where you need to keep your communications on the down low and not alert everybody to your whereabouts. Well, you have that option as well. Also on the side, you have your antenna. This plays a big part when you're listening to your weather stations, your shortwave radio stations, AM radio and FM radio. Signals are usually pretty close, but it's also helpful to be able to just zone in and be able to hear crystal clear on those stations. Some of the features that you have on this radio besides the four or five different bands is you have a flashlight option. So there's a button on top, you press it once and you have your spotlight. You press it twice and you have uh, dual LEDs and you have your spot. And then if you press it again, it goes to high beam. That's a great feature on that as well. Also, there's an additional feature underneath the solar panel is a LED light bar that rotates 360. And that's neat if you're reading books, if you're reading maps, if you have to perform some sort of uh, first aid on somebody, if you're camping and just need light, that is a viable option for you as well. I've been on a lot of search and rescue missions where hikers are lost. And the biggest thing that we advocate when you're hiking is to wear a whistle. And a lot of times your voice will go out. You're yelling, you're in a distress situation. You may have a injury to your chest cavity where you're not able to yell out, whistle, whatever. It's nice to have the capabilities to be able to broadcast your location. And this has an SOS button on the bottom of here. So you press and hold that button, the lights will come on, and then an ear piercing sound will come out of the speakers that is more effective than yelling out. In a search and rescue situation, it's a lot easier to triangulate and pinpoint where somebody's at if there is some loud, audible device that we're able to hear to be able to go in the proper direction. And with that, in a medical situation where minutes may make the difference of whether you make it or you don't make it out alive. Another really cool feature is digital tuning on all your radio bands. The option to be able to zone right in if you know the frequency of the NOAA weather station, your shortwave radio stations, or your AM or FM stations, you're able to just dial right in with pinpoint accuracy. Not like the old analog where we're trying to get it and we're fidgeting back and forth and we hope we nail it on the frequency. There's no doubt that if you're on that frequency, if they're broadcasting, if everything in the conditions are working perfect, you're going to be able to pick up a signal. That's a great option on here. I can't emphasize enough the importance of communication. And I'm always trying to find affordable options for you folks. Something that is functional, that is going to work, that isn't going to break the bank. I think I found it with this, being totally self-contained. Five different bands we can choose from. Internal battery, hand crank, AAA batteries, solar charging, and the list goes on and on. And this is under $50. So for under $50, you're able to have a communication device that is already going to put you ahead of everyone else that doesn't have that. And in these situations, I can't just stress enough how vital information is key in an emergency situation that may make the difference of you and your family surviving or not surviving. So with that, I'll leave links in the video description below to an Amazon link. I make no money from this at all. I just care enough about you and about you taking care of yourself and your family and friends that I want to pass on the knowledge. And if I find affordable options for you folks, I'm able 
to share that with you. With that, folks, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Now get out and use your gear, folks.